What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. And in this next counting question, we're told that in a student council, there are five candidates for president, seven candidates for vice president, and then three candidates for treasurer. And we got two questions here. Number one, how many ways can the student council be made? And then number two, one student got lucky and convinced the school to make him a candidate for all three positions. How many ways can the council be made then? So starting with number one, in this case, the five candidates are different uh, for president than the seven candidates for vice president and then the three candidates for treasurer. They're all different. There's no carryover as there's gonna be in number two. So this one's a little bit more simple. Basically president, vice president, and then treasurer. How many ways can you make the president well there are five candidates so there's five ways here seven ways to make the vice president and then three ways to make the treasurer and so the number of possibilities there with no restrictions you would just multiply all of these so five times seven is 35 times three would give us 105 and then if you showed this on a tree diagram these numbers are pretty big so it'd be pretty hectic but the first set of branches there would be five then the second set from each of those five, there will be seven. And then from all of those, there would be three, right? So there would be 105 branches at the end. So 105 possibilities. So that's the answer to number one. Now, number two, let me split this up here, is gonna be more tricky because here we're told one student got lucky and convince the school to make him a candidate for all three positions. How many ways can the council be made then? So in this particular case, what we gotta do is we actually have to go through cases. And we're gonna have to go through four cases. We're gonna have to go through the case where this student, this lucky student, quote unquote, becomes a president, where this student becomes a vice president, a treasurer, or neither. Of those he doesn't get voted into neither position so uh, because he can't be this lucky student can't be all three positions at once or he can't take two of the positions it could only be one of the positions or none of the positions so we have to look at four cases so the first case would be if the lucky student is um, is president Right? So if the lucky student is president, that's the first case. So we got the three positions here. Notice that there's only, if they end up being president, there's only one way that that could happen. They're going to be president. Right? So there's only going to be the president position is already spoken for. So this would just be a one here. Right? That lucky student is going to be the president. Now, how many candidates are going to be, how many ways can the vice president be chosen? Well, it's not going to be seven because this lucky student was one of the candidates for vice president as well. So there's only going to be six candidates left here for vice president. And then this lucky student was also a candidate for treasurer. So if he's president, then there's only two other ways that the treasurer can be made. And so if we multiply all of these, you'd end up getting 12. So once this lucky student takes on a position, they're no longer a candidate for the other positions. So this, these total numbers, you got to subtract by one. That's how we got the six and then the two. So there are 12 possibilities if for the case where the lucky student becomes a president. Now, the second case is if the lucky student becomes a vice president. So how would that happen? Well, this position, the vice president position would be spoken for. So they were also a candidate for president, but since they're gonna be vice president, there's gonna be four candidates left for the president. And then there's gonna be two candidates left for the treasurer. So if we multiply these, four times one times two would give us eight like that. And then number three, if the lucky student becomes a treasurer, in the council, we got one, two, three. That position is spoken for. So there are four candidates left for president. 
and then six candidates left for the vice president. And so if we multiply those, four times six times one would give us 24. And then the final case, you don't want to forget about this case where the lucky student takes on, they get voted into no positions. Now, how many ways can that happen? If they get voted into no positions, then the, uh, the positions are gonna be filled by all the other candidates. So there would be four for the president, there would be six for the vice president, and then there would be two for the treasurer. And so four times six, which is 24 times two, gives us 48. And so these are the four cases that can happen with this lucky student here. So we had to adjust a lot of things. And so now what you would do for the final answer, you would just add up all of these cases here. So 12 plus eight is 20, plus uh, 24 gives us 44, and then 44 plus 48 gives us 92. So that's what the final answer would be for number two.